What's up guys? My name is El Jefe. I am a Twitch streamer who mostly plays Project 1999 EverQuest. You can find me right over here. And today I'm bringing you guys another quick tip. A little background. Recently, I wish to acquire my Howling Stones key for my main character. And I wasn't able to find any YouTube videos that depicted the process of getting down to Zalgaz. Any way that was succinct, easy to follow. So I decided I'm going to go ahead and try to do that right here. So let's get started. You guys can see I am here in the Field of Bone, near the one good aligned merchant in the area, and the entranceway to a Syrah. So I'm going to head over to the zone line. I've uh, picked my enchanter. For this video because in order to get down to Zalgaz without fighting anything you're gonna need both invisibility and invisibility to undead now you don't need to have them both applied at the same time you just need to be able to do both I'm going to make sure in this video to let you know when to switch from invisibility to invisibility to undead. One more thing before I get started. This guide is only guaranteed to really be safe for characters who are level 50 plus. If you are lower than that, there is a good chance you're going to need to fight your way through some of the sea invis spiders that are down there. So let's go ahead and zone. Hey guys, El Jefe from the end of the video. One thing I forgot to mention was that if you do not possess the capability of casting both invis and ivu one good option is to acquire a potion of ivu from your local shaman should run you less than 200 plat all right back to the video I'm going to need a levitate. Now, you don't absolutely need levitate for this, but I'm not trying to take a lot of fall damage. All right, so first off, you're going to head just straight forward and all the way down the pit in that direction right here and then viz up because there will be spiders at the bottom all the way down now when you land down here to orient yourself with this door on your left and then it's pretty much just a straight shot. Make sure to con these spiders as you go. Just to make sure you don't get too close to one that uh, I can see through in biz. There's the one that sees through in biz. You can squeeze past him by just hugging this wall. 
shouldn't bother you. All right. This next section, I'm gonna take the first left. Followed by the first right. Now this is the part of the excursion where you're most likely to run into uh, trouble. What I'm gonna do here, mesmerize my little friend here, root him. Scoot here. Hug this left wall just a little bit right now because I need about. Now I'm going to do that to break aggro. It'll just be a second. Now when I get back, I'm going to want to hit IVU as quick as I can. Once you get past this section of the dungeon, regular invis is no longer wired. Everything's going to be undead. That was a close one. Okay. Now, hopefully I'll be able to log in and IV you without getting attacked. Let's see how it goes. not on my bar. I made a mistake. IVU. Cast off here. Okay. Now, we just basically hug the left wall all the way down to the church. I'm gonna go past these big towers. They're all filled with undead. Keep hugging that left wall. Keep on hugging. Afraid of those undead, they can't see you now. And when you reach these steps, you know you're almost there. And when you get down there, there's most likely going to be someone camping the spawn because Zalgaz not only drops a piece of the, the key for Howling Stones, but he also drops very expensive Necro Staff. Say hi to the Necro down there. Good luck, Ramsey. Now, usually, since they aren't of much value, you can uh, wait here with whoever's camping the staff and pick up your Zalgosian Fang, the no-drop component of the Howling Stones key. And that's pretty much it, you guys. If you found this little guide to be helpful, please like and subscribe. And come say hi to me over here at twitch.tv slash LFA. And I'll see you guys next time.